my great-grandparents bought this farm in 1914. And for a number of years, it was a self-sustaining, traditional sort of Southwest Virginia farm. The original farmhouse was built on the land here in 1840, and a medical doctor had his practice there. It was most recently purchased by my aunt and uncle about six or seven years ago. At that point, we began turning the family farm into Westwood Farm Vineyard Winery. We put the five acres of grapes in the ground, and we began construction of our winery building, production area, and retail area, the tasting room. The wine industry in Virginia has been thriving for two to three decades. Uh, we're relative newcomers to the scene. We've only been open since Memorial Day of 2006. We have uh, brought home some awards in that amount of time, though we've won, I guess, about 20 awards in our first two years, so we were pretty thrilled with that. It's a good validation of what we're trying to do here. We have really great soil here. The moisture is, in most years, just about right. We have nice, cool evenings and the warm, sunny days that tend to make good wine. From area to area, the grapes are never gonna taste the same. No two places will the grapes have the very same flavor profiles or the chemistry. So we feel like what we can offer here is a small, batch-created, unique bottle of wine, and you're not gonna find anything like it anywhere else. Um, our varieties have been well-received. We have usually eight or nine different wines we're selling here at the winery, primarily whites and reds. We have a couple sweeter offerings that we make here. But for the most part, they're traditional um, sort of old world style white and red wines. From year to year, things are never gonna taste the same. We realize when you're making large batches of wines, your job is to make it taste consistent over years. We recognize at this level that we have to bow down to the variations in mother nature and in the soil and in the weather from year to year. And that's gonna come out in the wine. I think it'll, it'll provide some pleasant uh, complexity. Most of the grapes in Virginia and most of the wineries in Virginia are in Northern Virginia and in the Charlottesville vicinity. So anybody that opens up a winery or a vineyard in this part of the state has to have a little more spirit about them and a little more uh, risk-taking sort of mentality, I think. People talk to us about our competition in the area, but I feel entirely differently about that. I consider them more colleagues, and I would love nothing more than for another half a dozen wineries to open within our region. People then would make our region a destination to visit and spend time with as opposed to stopping off as they're passing through. I think we can make Southwest Virginia a successful region for wine if done correctly and if we uh, take our winemaking seriously. We are a small family run business here. My aunt and uncle Paul and Brenda Rick own the farm here and my brother and I work here as well. And we're lucky if we have some other employees throughout the year to help us during busy times too. We do special events here at the winery from time to time and we participate in wine festivals across the state in different locations. So if you can't make it here to try our wine, we'll probably be at a festival near you sometime.